Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Staxel. Recording this immediately after the previous episode because I really wanted to play more. I don't know if I'll do more than two episodes, just like with the Porsche series, I really don't know if I'm doing more than two episodes of that. I'm recording this like way ahead of time. Um, but, like a week before I'm actually allowed to post it. Thank you to the developers once again for sending me a code. I really, really appreciate it. It's a really fun game. I'm gonna use this teleport home feature again because it's, oh no, no, this is my new home. Okay, actually that's not that big of a deal. Is there like a cooldown on that? There's not, okay. Well, I'll teleport back home whenever I need to because now I can run back out to the mayor, not the mayor. I need to find Eliza to give her nothing. I need to ask her for things, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, for now, I won't have anything out. I'll just sort of look around. Cause there's a building store somewhere around here. Apparently Eliza likes to be near there. But as I can see, there's no characters. Oh, I haven't met that character, so we'll go that way. Um, once again, we can move all the mappers out because that's just really cool. And let's try to get over there. So I guess there's like, yeah, this seems to be like an abandoned market stall. Can I like break this stuff? I need a hammer. Is there anything inside or will I just get the, the thing itself? Where's my hammer? I need to organize my inventory a tad bit better. Um, put that there, a brightly colored beat. But like there's no hunger or energy system in this game it seems, so far. Which isn't a bad thing, yeah, it just gives me the box. I'll just leave that there then. I could break this though. I, can I pick it up? Uh, there you go. It is a sitting log, cool. Uh, where was that character at? She was sort of in the back here, but maybe I could just go inside. Oh, hey, here, here you are, Eliza. Hey, wanna give me a hit? Hmm, not sure if I've seen you around. I, I'd shake your hand, but I don't think you'd appreciate the oil. The name's Eliza, though. If you ever have any crafting needs, I can help out. Hmm, is that your farm license? I'm guessing Maximilian sent you about the barn then. It's a bit of a task, but I figure it'll get you familiar with working around here. Cool, the barn sign. You see, this This here is a marker designed to plot out the land belonging to the barn. Th they come in all shapes and sizes. You seen the mailboxes around? Same deal. Just shove her in the ground, making sure you got a, the rotation right, and you'll be, be on track in no time. You can take a look at it any time after that to get an idea of what's missing. Oh, so that's what it is like, the signs in front of the town. However, and keep this firmly in mind, that barn ain't gonna build itself. You gotta do that part yourself. You don't have to chop down trees for wood, turn them into blocks, and build it up bit by bit. Of course, you can always buy some of those blocks at the building store. Other parts that might be a bit harder to come by. Now, off you try. Go find nice, uh, a nice spot for that barn and come back to me with some wood. Okay, an ax. An ax ought to help out with that. Am I supposed to come back to you with the wood or the, the barn? Once you have the wooden hand, I'll show you how to turn that into a more interesting things. Okay, might do that really quickly first, because I think I could just knock down any tree anywhere. Might as well knock one down by her house, right? There we go, wait. This is not an axe. Uh, I don't know, like some things are really weird. I mean, this game is still early beta alpha kind of thing. It's still being developed. Wow, just one hit and everything goes down. Some things that you'd think would be more complicated are very easy in this game. I have to like manually pick it up though. Oddly enough, so there are some more things I would expect to be easy that are much more difficult. I need, oh yeah, I do have a shovel. I got that at the end of the last episode. But I am having fun with the game so far, don't get me wrong. So I can go ahead and check out Eliza's home and you can see that like everything's done. For me, it will not say that. Let's go inside. And where did she go? Eliza. You are nowhere, you guys move quick. She's already off, she's getting that guy out of here. She's like, okay, that guy creased me out. I am leaving before he, he sees me. Okay, ooh, an acorn. I will happily grab that. I'm sure it'll be helpful for planting my own trees eventually. And this is wood right here. The, a hammer, but it's wood. I guess it's a wooden block. Interesting. Can I just knock down this tree? I mean, I don't want to ruin the town, especially if I'm the only one expected to fix it if it does go bad. Um, Eliza's already running way off that way. Eliza, wait for me. I'm lonely. I need a friend. But yeah, I don't know how in-depth the relationships will go, especially since there's no page that seems to detail relationships. It might just be that they're just characters that help you. You can't actually like marry them or anything. Hi, is this the building shop? Ready to learn the ways of the master builder? It's actually pretty easy. All you need is three things, ingredients, a blueprint, or recipe, and crafting stations. The stations you need to get at the barn, uh, to get the barn done are all set up in the building store already. Feel free to borrow them anytime, just don't try to run off with them. 
When structures get vandalized, well, we ain't gonna be using them till they're fixed. So anyway, what do you mean, we ain't gonna be using them till they're fixed? Like, will they not be able to progress their parts of the town if I take everything? That's interesting. This blueprint will show you how to make the basic trough for the barn. I suspect you already know how to make a few more basic blocks, though. You need to use a blueprint in order to memorize it. Then you can find it again anytime in the blueprint tab of your inventory. I'll give you a moment to do that. Talk to me when you're all set. Okay, so the blueprint is, is this a blueprint? Uh, wrong button. Farm license, so put that there, get the blueprint. Now the blueprint just looks like it, the one from Cube World. I like it. Uh, successfully learned the recipe for the empty trough. Cool, where did she go? She is really quick. With that out of the way, it's just a case of putting the bits and pieces together. Each step in the blueprint uses a particular type of crafting station. If you need to saw something, a saw bench will do that for you. If you want to assemble something, uh, an assembly station is the way to go. Makes sense, right? You want to set the items down on the left side of the station, the final result you take from the right. Interacting with the middle of the station will usually set her going. What? Okay, we got nails and heavy bell. These should cover some of the items needed to make a trough. Start by using the saw bench in the building store to make some lumber. If memory serves, the barn needs a couple of troughs, so some walls and a roof. Once you have all the parts, go finish off that barn. I'm sure you don't. I don't have to remind you how to build a good structure. Just put down some blocks and make four nice walls. Make sure you don't forget the door. You might run into some problems. Then cover it with a solid roof to, uh, of blocks to keep out the rain. It really doesn't matter what type of barn you build. We don't have a solid blueprint. Just make most of the structure inside the glowy bits, and it'll be good. So we can really just like make our own barn. I'll be waiting to hear all about it when you're done. Wow, so that's very very Minecraft-like. So, let me take a look at this. Blueprints, I'm looking for, what am I looking for? Fine lumber, no. I'm looking for the trough, empty trough. We need six lumber, two fine lumber, three nails, and a hay bale. So first off, how do we get the fine, well, I guess, wait, what is the other thing? Process, no wait. Assemble six, of these, I guess. Lumber times two, fine lumber, three nails, and then hey, I, I, I guess that's the order we wanna do it. How many do I have right now? I have, uh, well, this is light wooden planks. So what about lumber? Uh, raw wood, raw wood harvested from nature. Is that different? Weird. How do I turn wood into lumber? Um, so if I look back here, fine lumber, saw to lumber. Lumber, two raw wood, saw two, so if I saw two raw wood, that'll turn it into lumber. I didn't mean to pop that on the floor, pick that up. I wanna use that here. There we go. Um, Whoa, this is cool, I like that. We got some lumber, keep doing that as much as I can. I guess it has a number of how much I want there. Is there any way I can do this, like I can charge it? Like I know the lady was saying before, like oh, you can charge things up. Don't know exactly, oh that time I I did two. I mean it always costs two for one lumber. So there we go, I got all my wood and turned it into five lumber. I need six lumber and then I need to turn some of that, well, let, me, let me turn the two into fine lumber right now. Uh, what is, is this fine lumber? I actually don't know, so we're gonna find out. Uh, fine lumber. Okay, so do that again because I need two of it. And then take that. And then I'm not gonna turn the fine lumber into anything. I need to go ahead and chop down another tree. Well, oh, these are some big trees too. I'm gonna go farther out just so I'm not messing up nature. I mean, I'm still messing up nature no matter where I knock over a tree. Uh, oh, there's a bug there too, cool. Let me try one of the ones that just have like one block as a, like a bottom piece, because they all fall down. All right, so pick that up. Was there more stuff over here? There is. Get that. It seems to be oddly difficult to pick things up. Always like, you know, when, when a bunch of things fall like that. Ooh, I can come in from the back. What's going on in here? Uh, not too much. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna continue to saw things then. Hi, Eliza. Um, so let me go ahead and I have, oh, I don't have it in my quick selector right now. Inventory's a little weird to manage at times. 
but I'm sure that's just going to be how it is for a little bit. I need to not right click, I need to left click the 12 raw wood. And I need to turn a little bit more of this into lumber because I, I used all my number except for one piece. So now I need, if I take another look at it, um, empty trough, I need six lumber and then two fine lumber and then three nails and the, the, the nails and the hay bale she provided. So I just need to get this lumber. I need six lumber now. So put that there in. This is going to be one lumber. Uh, do that. And then let me, oh, I think I canceled it. Oh, okay, so yeah, now we have two. I need six in total, so that'll be three. And then four. I feel like there's, there should be a faster way to do this. Five, and then six. Grab that, and then grab you. Wait, no, I want you back. There you go, thank you. And then I should be able to talk to you. How's that barn going? Making good progress? Okay, so you don't have too much more to say, but I should have all the ingredients now. If I take a look, one last time. Empty trough, six lumber, two fine lumber, three nails, and a hay bale. I have six lumber, two fine lumber, six nails, and two hay bales. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, place that sign down, and get to building our first ever farm. Our farm is this way, I don't wanna get too lost again. I got lost last episode pretty easily, which was just embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It is very interesting, it is very different. I would like to clean up this path a little bit though, because it is sort of a pain how it's just, like, I don't know, this is what makes me think this game might be randomly generated with how things are placed like that, but I don't know. We do need to water everything here, especially since it's super easy to water things in this game, like crazy easy. Like this would have taken forever in Stardew Valley. So it's just, it's weird how it works. I mean, I don't mind. It's just like, I'm guessing that means that like the scale to things is larger. You can do larger scale things with simpler setups. Cause I can just water everything, water it all. What is over here? Just more flowers that I don't want to get right now because I don't get anything from them. Maybe there's like a tool I can get later. But the scythe maybe gets the actual ingredient instead of me just pulling it out of the ground. Um, but yeah, hi tiger, you're adorable. I'm going to go ahead, oh, have you eaten? Check. There are two out of two units of food. So when that gets, oh, are you following me? Goodbye. <laughs> I sort of scared her away with some water. Hey, well, eh. no, it didn't work. Okay, that's fine. So I'll probably put the barn somewhere not too far away from the house. I'd imagine right here would be a great spot for it. Um, barn sign, we already have it up. Right here. Uh, not what I wanted. Yeah, definitely not what I wanted. Uh, hold on. Uh, how do I take it down? Probably with the hammer? Yes. Pick that back up, if I can. I can. Like you'd think that like just me being near it would pick it up naturally, but no, you gotta like manually collect things. It's just super weird like that. Um, so I can rotate it. No, that's not what I wanted. So I can rotate it with the, the mouse scroll wheel, which is okay, I guess. Um, actually, this is perfect from what I see. I might wanna move it back like a little bit. It's sort of hard to tell, you know, the ones in the distance, but I think that's fine. But I do have the chance to like look at it. I actually like that. That should be pretty good. Um, now I had to go back up to you and interact with you. Two trough. Okay, so yes, yeah, right now I have to make the trough. How do I make it? Didn't really think about that one. Maybe I got to go back to like the workbench or something. Weird. But I could definitely see how this game has depth in its own way compared to uh, Stardew Valley. This is a box just sitting here. I'm gonna be sitting there for a little while. I'm not gonna bother with it. I'm gonna be awful at this game, but I'm also gonna be an awful civilian walking on everybody's hedges. Okay, there's the saw here and there's the assemble. Ah, this is probably what we need. Maybe. Tile. Weird, I'm not entirely sure. There's not too much to do around here beyond that though. So like maybe if I just like place this stuff on the assemble pile like that, Ah, yes, this is making sense to me now. So six lumber, and then let me get everything else then. Is there like a quick way to pop this stuff out of, in, into my other part of the inventory? I'm glad they give us a full inventory right away. They don't like block it off like <clears throat> Stardew Valley. Uh, but uh, don't get me wrong, it's a great game. Don't get mad at me. We'll do that, we'll get some hay bale. So I'm gonna have to build a second trough. So we might as well get started with that right after this, but for now, we will do, Bad for this chicken, he's gonna be in that crate for a little while. We'll do that, 
so that I can put down a hay bale. I can put down, wait, wait, oh, I didn't really place down the hay bale. The, the hay bale and then one, two, three. Yeah, that worked. Awesome, so I got myself an empty trough. No, wait, how do I take it? There you go. So I wanna take this back because I need to get more wood and turn that into more lumber. I'm getting it now. It's a little tough at times, a little confusing, but I do like it. It's just gonna take some learning. It's gonna take some figuring. Is that a stone? What is going on here? Yeah, that's a stone. I mean, there's definitely plenty more to explore across the map. It is actually getting close to the end of the day. So it seems like a, a day takes like about a half an episode, or maybe like a full day will take a full episode, 15 minutes in the day, 15 minutes in the night. I won't be staying up the entire night. Uh, there you go. I wish I could get this guy. I mean, hitting with an ax would do something in reality. Will that be enough wood? Because remember, I need to turn two of these into, I actually do need more wood then, because two woods make two planks and we need, what? A total then seven, eight, nine, like 10, 10 planks or lum lumber. So we need 20 wood. Let's see, if I go in this with 20 wood, let's see how much I end up leaving with. Um, That's 18 there. So I could just get two more, that'd be perfect. Look at that little dragonfly, ain't that cool? I'll grab this. I'm sure the acorns will be helpful. We didn't get anything there. Oh, there we go. I just want one more. Oh, a bug. Don't wanna bother the bug. That was not enough. Oh, that was, there we go. Perfectly, I should have 20, just for this little experiment. Um, So we gotta go back over there to the workshop. So let's go and do that. This game is very interesting though. I am enjoying it. I, I wanna play more. Oh, excuse me, Eliza. I'm going this way. And we're gonna get the building with just the lumber for right now. I do need to make sure it's actually at the forefront of my inventory. It's like that. And then we'll get to sawing it. So I'm going to saw a bunch of wood. I should end up with like nothing left over. So place everything there. Ah, that's how I can like really control how much is there. Okay, so keep doing this over. Like I feel like there should be a quicker way to do this, but like if I right click, nothing happens. It'd be nice if like, I could just turn all the wood into as many lumber as possible in one go, but maybe that's where this game's quirk is, is that you really just gotta take the time to do each thing. Um, Like if it was real, which is fine. But yeah, we're gonna turn this into as much lumber as we possibly can. I don't know how many more we gotta go. We, I, I guess that is it. So we should have no more normal wood, but we have 10 lumber. So now I'm gonna go and pull out that 10 lumber and turn one, two, and then I will take, yeah, this is perfect so far, so, wait, no! Take that, take that, yeah, okay, I almost messed that up. So now I have, oh, wow, that was quick! Why was that, why was that quick that time? I don't know, weird. Uh, What if I was gonna try to build something else with nails? Really weird, Um, but now I have the two troughs, which is excellent, what else did I need? Because hopefully that'll be a fun thing to do is build a barn towards the end of today's episode. That'd be a fun way to finish it off. Um, I see Tiger running around all excited. I hope Tiger's having a good time. Um, that is a big old sun. Okay, so we're still, we have the two troughs, but we're missing a roof. How do I make a roof? Um, oh yeah, I gotta remember, I have a teleport home. I should probably be using that a bit more often. Is there a roof here? No, that's not what I wanted. Brick block, cobble path. Maybe it doesn't matter. Like maybe there isn't like a main way to make a roof. It's just however I make it, which would be really weird, but I guess it's possible, right? I don't know, it's really weird. I also still don't have a scythe, so if I want to deal with this grass, I have to pull it all by hand, I guess. Yeah, that might take a bit of time. Also, all my crops are watered, which is good. At least, you know, that's making me some income on the side. Maybe I should go to the store though and see how much a scythe is. Because that could make things a little bit easier here. But the roof part is sort of confusing me. I'm going to guess that I need to just build one myself. And that however I build it will just be what's best. I don't know, that's very bizarre to me. Because I don't really know how to make the materials or like make the nice looking materials like everybody else has. This is Eris. I really have a craving for chocolate cake right now. Wonder if I could get one somewhere? 
or perhaps a kind strong, a kind, a kind stranger might help out. Um, good luck. Oh, maybe I was too subtle. Yeah, no, it's just I met you 20 minutes ago. <laughs> okay, so the shop's not open, but can I still buy things? I can. Interesting. So scythe. There's a hoe that's really cheap. Okay, a lot of the stuff is actually very cheap. Um, scythe is 30, so go ahead and buy that, and then buy the bug net as well. Sheep shears, pickaxe, another pickaxe, 40, 40, okay. I was gonna say, did I get ripped off? <laughs> I have like multiples, which is interesting. A milker, very cool. Well, I have everything I need for right now. I'm going to go ahead and have the scythe now. Interesting, okay. Well, it's getting really dark. I don't wanna wait around too much longer. I mean, I, I, I always know where my house is now, or my farm, because a little lion or a little tiger is there. Isn't that adorable? It seems like everybody else is like in their homes though, so now is a good time to just quickly run home. It's getting a little too late for me. I don't know if I can pass out or not. So let's just quickly go to bed, go to bed. Yeah, okay, another day successful. Really happy with that. I can leave the bed. Talk to Rai if you wanna try fishing. Maybe I should read through those tips. I don't like this out of body experience we have every time we sleep, it's weird. Also, it looks like we could probably fix up this area a bit if we wanted to. What's in the fridge, by the way? I don't wanna break it, I wanna see what's in the fridge. Uh, nothing. Weird. Can I use the sink? Yeah, I can, look at that. So I guess it's a, if it has a usable feature, it will, um, it'll have a green highlight to it when you put your mouse over it. Okay, what's over here? Oh, hey, toilet. Oh my. <laughs> it just says it's a chair, I guess it acts the same way. Little toilet paper. Oh, that is funny. And it makes a little flush noise. Great, great. Ooh, look at what's growing. These aren't quite ready yet. I think because you can see like it's growing healthily. So we can get like little status updates on it. Let me go ahead then and pull out our thingamajig and start watering. I mean, I wonder if you can accidentally overwater plants like in real life, but probably not. Okay, well, that's all I could do for those things. Still a little confused about this. Um, Let me go ahead and put the two troughs in though, because I have them. I might as well, right? So put those over there. And then, wait, uh, did I do that? Yeah, I did do that right. Okay, so then we'll put another one here. So now if we go back to the sign, done, but the roof is missing. So, if I chop down a tree like this one, I mean, I do have, maybe that's what the uh, wooden planks are for. Maybe I should just try putting the wooden planks over this area and just sort of see what happens. It'll be a simple roof. But how do I place, just like that? Hmm. And then I guess we're doing this Minecraft style. I do wanna toggle the region on this so that I can actually see where I'm building and I'm not actually building in the right spot. So let me go ahead and chop this stuff down. Uh, oh, a hammer. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting that. Okay, I can, that didn't actually. Okay, there we go. Wow, that is super effective, I love it. So pick that stuff up, and I'm just gonna build myself up and try to build a roof. Nothing crazy for now until I just sort of figure out more of this out. But the top of it is, I wanna make it as high as I can. So I don't think I wanna make it any higher than that. There we go. Building seems to be a bit difficult. I feel like it could be very easy for me to fall off, but now I don't need to worry about that. I can just focus on this. So it's not gonna be like a uh, roof with like any kind of dimension to it. It's just gonna be a flat Minecraft style roof just because it's easier for me. Um, for now, if we really wanna challenge ourselves with building in the future, totally up for the task. Hmm. But I think this is what it's expecting when it says roof, right? I would have to imagine. I mean, I do not have enough blocks for this, so it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. But I'm definitely curious to see what it says now. Hmm. Do that. And then, no, no, no. No, no, no. I don't wanna destroy that much. Uh, let it go. Just, you know what, we'll just do it one at a time. No! My work, my life's work is destroyed. <laughs> I just imagine like everyone's like talking about the new farmer, right? And they're like, what? I wonder what that new farmer's up to right now. And you just hear this very distant echoed, no! It's like, uh oh, whatever it is, it ain't good. So that's not, th none of this is working out for me. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do that. Oh man, I don't get this. I'm not very good at this. What does it mean by roof then? 
It says roof is missing. Maybe that's what I have to do. I just have to do it better. Now it's too late to know. I mean, I guess just build again. Let me just try to do this and just like make it a little canopy. Make it a little treetop kind of thing. Like, what defines a roof in this game? Done. Oh, that actually counts. Uh. So now what? I don't know. If it's both done, what do I do now? I'll go talk to uh, what's her face and try to find out. Man, this is bizarre. Just trying to wrap my head around this, trying to figure it out a little bit can be a bit difficult. But uh, for now, I'll head on over here and try to talk to Eliza. If she's willing to actually give me any kind of relevant information, that'd be fantastic. Where is she? Oh, she's in the workshop. Okay, Eliza, I need to talk to you. Don't know what to do next. You said it was gonna like you said it like it was gonna be so obvious what to do next, but I actually don't know. So it's probably my own fault. Wonderful work, Zebron. That barn's almost uh, brought the brought a tear to my eye. If you haven't been to okay, I burped. I'm sorry. If you haven't been to see him already, I think Maximilian would love to hear about it too. But I haven't built a barn yet. I mean, maybe when everything's done, it's just boom a barn. But I thought that you guys were talking about walls and stuff. I thought that. I guess I have to build that too, but it didn't say I had to, so I guess, I don't know, I guess it's up to me. I just need more good work around that place. Uh, come back anytime for if you need materials from the store or some advice. Okay, so I think I get it. The game doesn't really recognize what is a ceiling or a wall. I have to sort of decide that myself. If I were to put the animals in the barn right now, they'd probably just walk away. It's not like some kind of predetermined thing. So I definitely need to get back to work on it, build proper walls. It'd be cool if I could paint them red at some point. But for right now, the only thing that's making it a barn is the magical sign that says it's a barn, you know? Also, teleport home. I gotta keep remembering this. There you go. Isn't that so convenient? I love that. Even if that's not supposed to be an intended feature, now I'm sort of hoping they keep it in. So yeah, let me try to go ahead and actually properly do this now. We're gonna toggle the region display. I'm going to, if I do this, it'll destroy everything under it, which is both awesome, but also scary for when I accidentally knock everything down. I just need to make sure that my entire foundation isn't under one block, basically. Um, well, I'm not a master builder in any sense of the word, but I'll try my best. So I'm just gonna start building as much of a foundation as I can. These blocks are really tiny. I'm used to a Minecraft character being two blocks tall, but here obviously they are three, so I wanna be able to walk. Wait, I can just shove my head in. Okay, not always. <laughs> That's really weird, so I'll have to fix that. I'll fix it right now. Um, there we go. Weird, it is so weird. Um, can I pick these up? It's not a bad game at all. I'm not trying to say it's bad, kind of weird. It's just a weird kind of weird, you know? And I hope this is in, like I don't, no, really, I think this is like one out of it. It's hard to say, because it's in the center of it. So is this within, is it out? Because it's saying the roof is missing now, which makes sense. I feel like I want to move it back one, because I don't want to risk that and then doing all this work for nothing. Uh, Do that, and then do that, do that, do that, and do that. Oh man, this game is super bizarre. Not, once again, not in a bad way, it's just, I know that there's probably somebody who's played it for like a million hours who's watching this right now, maybe sometime in the distant future, like, this guy is a dingus. And well, yes, I am, but come on. This game, like if I were to Google videos on this game right now, I wouldn't find too much because it's not even released in early access yet as I'm recording this. But I'm having fun. So you know what, even if I play like a dingus and it takes me forever to figure everything out, as long as I'm having fun, I couldn't care less. Okay, so I'll try to build as much of a foundation here as I can. Um, unless. Oh, I have the scythe now. I purchased that with my hard earned cash, so I should probably use it. Um, there you go. Got it. I mean, at some points, it seems just to be quicker to single click through it all. There we go. See, that's where it's much easier, is when you have a long strip like this. Got it. Wow, okay, wow, that's really helpful. You just really have to hold it. Come on, charge up, charge up. That's the most you can do then. Seems like it. <laughs> okay, that was cool. I like it. So from now, I'll just go ahead and keep trying to make this bit of a wall. Place 100 blocks. I actually haven't placed 100 blocks. I've placed the same 50 blocks twice. <laughs> I'm the best. It looks like you don't get reward for achievements anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it is fun. Nice little fun gesture. 
So this trough, I guess counts still, even though it's a little bit outside. I will move it, because I don't like where it is. So I'm learning, oh, come on. I don't want to move both of them. Pick it up. Oh, there's seeds. Hope I didn't miss out on some seeds there. Um, for now though, place that there. And then I guess rotate this if I can, like that. Oh man, that is so weird. I still have a lot more getting used to in this game, but uh, I guess we'll get used to it in the next episode of Staxel. If you watch this part of video, make sure you comment Zebra Barn so that you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.